Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about AutoSAR data types. If you want to understand more detail about our AutoSAR concepts, then you can watch our complete AutoSAR playlist. We can first start with what is AutoSAR. AutoSAR is nothing about, it is an automotive open system architecture. It is a layer architecture. It has three layers. One is application layer, another one is RT, another one is base software. AutoSAR architecture will be helpful to the software developer to design their software component for automotive applications or automotive requirements. Now we can start to understand about what is data type and how we can define it in AutoSAR. Basically, the data type is used to represent the range of the variable. For an, for an example, the C language or other languages, whenever you want to declare the variable for to send one byte, then we will define it as a unsend integer 8. The unsend integer 8 is a data type. Then in AutoSAR standard, we define the platform data types for use by AutoSAR software components. In AutoSAR, we, we need a data type for in creating a data elements or operation arguments or calibration parameter or measurement variables or interrunnable variables. Because when you want to send a data from one software component to another software component, then we need a data type to represent the variable. Now we can understand about what all are the data types are there in AutoSAR. In AutoSAR, we have a three data type. One is application data type, another one is implementation data type, another one is software based type. In AutoSAR data types, we need to create a data type for in multiple places. One is sender receiver interface, another one is client server interface. So in sender receiver interface, whenever you want to create a variable by using variable data prototype, then you need a data type there to represent your variable. Because in sender receiver interface, we will exchange the data from one software component to another software component. For an example, if you want to send a two bytes of data, then you need to create a data type with the unsend integer 16. In client server interface, this will be used in a function call. So whenever you want to call a function, you need to pass the information via arguments. So for that place, you need a data type. And additionally for calibration parameters or measurement variables or whenever you want to create interrunnable variables, in all those places, we need a data type. In AutoSAR data type, we can define it in an abstraction level. For an example, in application data level, we'll call it as a AutoSAR data type as application data type. But this application data type, it's not going to implement it in C. It's not related with that. But in implementation data type, this will create a type def. So wherever you are seeing an rt.c file with the rt.h or rt.c file with type def, then in the case, this was created with the implementation data type. And software based type, it's like a basic data type like character, unsend integer, integer, or unsend integer short or float, all those very uh, data type, whichever you have seen it in C language, that will come under software based type. Uh, in AutoSAR data types, what is application data type? Application data type is actually represent for a set of values which will be used in application model or including measurement variable or calibration parameters. So whichever will be useful for the calibration engineer, those all are the things related with application data type. The implementation data type is actually general C language or C source code level that will be used for data allocation within base software or RTE or a general, general software component code, all those places, we will use an implementation data type. So you can consider in a way, when you want to declare a variable with unsend integer 8, then you will go with the implementation data type. Unsend integer 16, unsend integer 32, all those related with that implementation data type. Software based type. This will not be directly created by a developer. This will come with a platform data type. So this representation of the implementation data type on the target hardware. So based on this, you have to use or you have to create a data type in AutoSAR. In AutoSAR, data types actually fall in two categories. One is platform data types, which allow the direct mapping to C language. For an example, unsend integer 8 or unsend integer 16, float or uh, sign integer. So all those things related to platform data types. Another one is composite data types. For an example, when you want to create an array or structure or union, those all are will be called as a composite data types. So in the upcoming video, I will more detailedly discuss about how to create an implementation data type and how to create an application data type, all those things. So for that, you can stay with us. If you like it, please subscribe our channel. If you want, you can share it with your friends. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.